Hi everyone, this is Sneaky. Welcome back. Welcome back. I want to take the time to thank all of my subscribers, my returning subscribers and all of the new subscribers, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this video here is my Prepper Pantry Stock Up Haul. I went to stock up on things that I was getting low in and I also stocked up on the things that you guys put in the comments that I asked you if you watch my stockpile video a couple of videos back. If y'all see anything missing that I don't have in the stockpile, I ask you all to put it in the comments. So I thank you all for doing that. And it kind of gave me an idea. Okay, yeah, I'm missing this and that. Um, yeah, with having a, a big stockpile um, like that and then missing some of the main essentials is just... Mm. So thank you all for putting it in the comments. Starting with this Lord back here. I bought this big container of lard. It's good for when you are like, just say you happen to cook on a cast iron skillet outside or whatever, or maybe, um, you know, cook your own pie crust, biscuits, things like that. So I got this, the large container of lard. And I also got some oil here, um, vegetable oil. Okay, and I also picked up this extra virgin olive oil. I picked this up when Club. I went to Sam's I said Sam Town, but I mean uh, Sam's Club. To add to my oils. So, yeah, I got that big container. I think it was a, a great price. I think it was 8 maybe $9. $9 or $11 or something. But, yeah, I picked that up. And you guys said vinegar. I have some vinegar here. Like, I have these things, some of these things in my kitchen cabinet. But I didn't have them in my pantry like the vinegar the uses for vinegar is, is almost endless you know you can use vinegar for stains you know insect sore throat cleaning marinating meat i mean you can use vinegar for anything making your what buttermilk so yeah i picked up two of these lower size vinegar Something else. I got some more baking soda. For baking, you can use this for cleaning as well. Cleaning, cooking, baking, and baking powder. I picked up some baking powder. And I picked up another large thing of sugar. I have two smaller containers over there, but I just need to start back adding sugar every time I go. <clears throat> and I have this cocoa. Cocoa here, it's, you know, for baking or... You know, if you want to make your own brownies or chocolate cakes or red velvet cake, whatever you want to do with it. And this powder milk, I only had one container. So I said, let me pick up another um, container of instant milk. So the thing with that milk, they had the non-fat dry milk and the dry whole milk. Y'all put down in the comments... Which one is the best to buy? So I picked up this instant um, non-fat dry milk because this is what I see in the store they had. So t let me know in the comments which one is the better one to buy. And I picked up some more honey. Like I said, I have some in the cabinet. I mean, you know, in the kitchen. Um, but I didn't have any in my pantry. So honey... We could use honey for a natural sweetener, treat coughs, treat burns. You know, we use honey for our hair, our skin, you know, endless, endless. So, yeah, I picked up another container of that. Let me see what else you guys told me. And back here, I got some more salt and coffee. Going to need that coffee, coffee. So, I got that. Um... What I probably start doing is I need to get me another coffee maker. I have the um, Korean and the instant coffee. So I think the cheaper, the coffee is um, at a better price when you buy it that goes in the coffee maker. So I might start buying that um, just to have in my pantry, you know, because you get more for your money. But yeah, um, I'll just leave in the comments what y'all think. 
and about the salt. Another thing, I have this iodized, <clears throat> iodized salt, and I have this kosher salt here. I got two a box of that kosher salt to add in my pantry because I was short on salt. You want to have that in your pantry. Um, yeah, for canning, I think someone said kosher salt. You can use that instead of um, the canning salt. So I picked up that. Although the canning salt was cheaper than that kosher salt, but I figured like I can use that kosher salt in different ways instead of just having canning salt. Okay. I picked up some more, three cans of beef stew. And I picked up this lunch meat. This is my first time buying this. Guys, leave in the comments if you tried this already. Um, it said made with chicken, so I'm not sure how this tastes. That's why I only bought two um, so I can see. And I think the expiration date is June the 1st, 2025. So, yeah, I want to try this out and see how we like it. You know, if we like it, I'll get some more cans. I think it was like a dollar ninety eight cents a can. And then I got some more of this roast beef. Got two cans of that to add, and I also picked up some of these whoops, cream and striped peanut butter and grape jelly, guys. I got these here. Expiration date on this here is mm, June twenty ninth, twenty twenty three. So, I picked up three of those. I already have plain peanut butter. Um, <clears throat> that's just something quick to make a sandwich with or anything, if your lights go out or anything. I mean, it's easy, too, to just do the peanut butter and the jelly in separate jars. But, you know, for the kids, I just got three of those to add to the pantry. And I also got raspberry fruit spread made with real um, sugar. Guys, I love raspberry flavor. And this was the only one left on the shelf. I wanted to get about three of them and add, because I got the grape jelly and I got the strawberry um, jelly. I wanted to add some more of this. And I might try the, um, I think they had another flavor that I want to try, but it, it was, I know this was the last one on the shelf for the raspberry. So when I go back, I will be picking up some of that. And I picked up like three containers of ketchup, mustard. I have some Mott's um, applesauce here. I picked up those. And if you deal with Ibotta, you know, you get rebates back for that. Another thing, I have, I picked up this active dry yeast. And I got this fast rising yeast. I'm adding this. I had some in my container over there already in those plastic containers but i just wanted to add more and i picked up me some coffee creamer caramel coffee coffee creamer i picked up this boss um basmati rice i want i have a dish that i want to a recipe i want to make and it calls for this rice so yeah i picked up this two pound bag got some seasonings here Lemon pepper, classic buffalo, and garlic parmesan. Got six packs of those. I got some more bouillon cubes. This here is the beef, because I have a lot of um, chicken cubes. I need to add more beef. Picked up some smoked oysters. Protein, 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 guys. We love oysters around here. Um, I'll just pick up some of these every time i go um because we all eat these and they won't last long so yeah and they like two dollars and some a can just picked up some drink mixes for my um you know if you want a little flavor to your water so i just picked up those and we have some instant mashed potatoes i picked up four of those i think they was like a dollar a box and i got these variety pack of fruit grain cereal bars. I think these would be great snacks for the kids. And it's 32 bars in this pack for only $6 and some change at Walmart. You have 16 strawberry, 8 apple cinnamon, and 8 mixed berries. 
yeah so i picked up two of these guys and just some different types of noodles i picked those up and let's see around here what we have i picked up a flat of these hot and spicy chicken these are everybody flat favorite so i just picked up these picked up some more corn can't go wrong with corn corn is my children's favorite vegetable so i have to make sure i have this corn um spaghetti and meatball and mini ravioli if you watch my last video this is the flat that i got when i said i was intending to get all spaghetti and meatball because i didn't have any of those in the house in the pantry so uh but they was mixed up on that flat and i ended up getting six spaghettis and meatballs and um the mini ravioli and i picked up another 12 fruit cocktails so what else do we have guys <clears throat> i think i covered everything here in this haul um that bag of potatoes we just need a bag um some more potatoes so i just picked that up um and another two more boxes of those ramen noodles we already have some i just like to get and add because you never know you know two dollars or something get it and add it to your pantry um i think that's about it i don't know if i miss anything oh applesauce yeah i learned this few years ago that you know if you don't have any eggs you can replace the if you have a recipe that calls for egg you can replace it for the applesauce so i'm gonna buy two of these you know every time i go just to add to the pantry so i needed to add these that is a great deal adding eggs to your recipe i mean adding applesauce to your recipe that needs eggs and one more thing i got this lemon pepper seasoning i needed some lemon pepper season my kitchen cabinet is filled with my seasonings but i think i want to start adding an extra shell for you know extra seasonings so i think that's what i'm going to start doing start another cabinet and get all the seasonings that i need not just the ones that's in my kitchen i think that's it guys thank you all for <clears throat> watching and as i always say if you see anything that is missing leave it in the comments because we are in this together please pray prepare prep prep pray prepare prep pray prepare because things are getting out of hand and it's another thing i wanted to share with you all i had bought some um me and my kids went to dollar tree <clears throat> and they like to go in that freezer and pick out things that they want like those breakfast sandwiches or they picked up some with these cheese mozzarella sticks got home opened that box those things were molded let me see okay these are the things that i was talking about they love these mozzarella sticks but from now on i think we're just going to make our own we can just get the mozzarella stick cheese and put crust on them like we used to do and we got home I had this bag because I need to take it back. Look at that. Look at that. That is ridiculous. So be careful, guys. Um, let me see. In the expiration date. What is it? 2023. And so they was like, Mom, can we open the other box and see how it is? Guess what? Look at that. Look at that. That's ridiculous expiration date on this one i can't see that 2023 so i'm taking these back to the store but guys just be careful of the things you will um buy even like in dollar um, dollar tree family dollar stores and things like that because i went in these stores and the frozen goods some of the package is like have swollen like that right there let you know um sometimes that those things was 
maybe not in the refrigerator, you know, um, properly. Maybe they was out in the heat and then was put back in the refrigerator or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, be careful of these little things here you buy because you buy it and then a month or weeks down the road you open it up and it's like this and just I don't know. I don't I don't know what's going on. Um well we do know but you know I'm just saying be careful. But guys I thank you. I don't want to keep rambling on and on about um about this video but yeah um just be mindful of the things that you buy and you know I guess things like this you can not this type but things like this you can just take it out and store it in just a bag instead of these boxes when you put it in the refrigerator that way you'll know but guys yeah this is it for now thank y'all for watching please like comment and subscribe if you like these type of videos and i will talk to you guys in the next one leave down in the comments some more ideas of things that we don't have because these were some great items that i had that i didn't have in my pantry and i thank you all and i will talk to you in the next one. Give me a thumbs up. Bye.